and Zero Dawn. Uh, last chapter we did kind of the Curse of Darkness and now we're going to concentrate ourselves in the deep secrets of the Earth. For that, we need to go to Sunfall and that's where we're going right now. So I hope you like I'll it. If you do so, you. you know what to do. Just let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, noted that also you can follow me on Twitter. And yeah, sit and relax. I'm going to keep commentary to a minimum. The Mad King Duran Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Well, there is some side quest here. I'll bet the usurpers and meridians left soundly last She's night. She's very pale. Is she unwell? Yes. She's a fighter, but the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. Her name is Shiana, my sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. He's difficult. His soul is in shadow. His soul is in shadow? Galif, that's him. He's very clever, but he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle. Ride around like you own the place, Outlander. Sunfall is for true Karja. I tell you, for a little more food, I do the next one. Are you Galeev? The healer? I had planned to spend the day gazing at the lands of my exile and feeling sorry for myself, but you're not from Sunfall, so this could be interesting. I came from the tenth city there. There's a sick girl. Her brother told me about you. The answer is no. What? No, I can't spare the medicine, nor my time to administer it. My resources are already spread thin, thin as the soiled cloths I have to use for dressings. Why won't you help? Look at it from my perspective. What meager goods I can get must be smuggled in. That's expensive. The behemoth's share goes to the military. Of course, there are the demands of the Citadel. Helis's kestrels are so prone to sticky ends. What's left? That's for the nobles, who can pay well for my services. Look at it from my perspective. A little girl is sick. I think we are calling to each other across an ideological impasse. What's stopping me from just making you do it? I'd have to cause a situation. And you wouldn't harm the only healer disgraced enough to work for the Shadow Karja, would you? Well, we've only just met, but yes, it's tempting. And take it up with the Citadel. They decide who lives and dies. 
Nothing you can do would compare to my punishment if I use the last of my stock on a tent girl. <sighs> You're kind of an ass healer. There's no cure for a conscience, but in this line of work, I've built up an immunity to it. And yet, if you feel so strongly about this one girl, perhaps we can make a deal. My charity for a Thunderjaw heart. That's not how charity works. It is how deals work. You'd settle my debts for a while. Those parts aren't exactly easy to come by. As it happens, a Thunderjaw prowls the Valley of Omens, north and west of here. I know it well because they expect me to put its victims back together. Runaways, mostly. If I do this, it's not for you. Oh, I'm not expecting you to do it at all. But I'll be heading back to the Citadel later. I don't have the part yet. Your thunder jaws to the north and west of here, you said? In the Valley of Omens. Really, as a healer, I should advise against this undertaking. But you won't just give me the aid I need. No.
chest feels like it's under my skin. My family is starving. Avad will have to answer for that eventually. Who does Avad think he's fooling with this ceasefire? I have your machine part. A deal's a deal. See to the girl, and it's yours. On my oath. But tell me, if this girl survives, what do you suppose is her future? It's better than not having a future at all. What a charming notion. Come, come, let's be quick about this. Kindness doesn't keep well in the heat. You've got to trust the hottest. Outlanders are idiots. But perhaps they're useful idiots. Uther. Uther. Idolize him. It's you. Hello again. I've brought someone to see your sister. How did you... What did we do to deserve... No. Wait. I don't even want to ask. In case a shadow passes over and it's gone. Smart boy. She'll have his full attention, won't she? Once I'm freed of other distractions, yes. Thank you, again, for giving her a I better I chance. This, but I, already... I think the sun's flush is back in her cheeks, don't you? Hey, let's see what this is all about. I've got all the best goods here. Were I a traitor? I think... up these goods. to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. I'll take the shards, even if it means having to listen to Bahavas. I hear the shadows coming. One of their own. Should pay well. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, 
Radiant Edaman, the one true Sun King, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Many, and so hmm. the ire of Love the your hair. Full blaze. Not only did the wretch conspire to you and I need to chat, little huntress. The, the green tent down in Shadowside. But he refused I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. And fled, and in doing so, demonstrated wanton disregard for the safety of the king's subjects. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see Go me then, while there's still time to save him. The will of the sun. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the Sun Ring from on high. Well, the Kestrels. Ah, Remember your place, they stranger. want us to see this, boy. It makes quite an impression. It's a short drop from there. Other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I say you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. <laughs> 